What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So let's continue our discussion about Revit for structural design. So Revit 2024. So in this lesson, so we are going to learn how to use the drawing tools provided by Revit Structure to add wall keys to the footing and sketch reinforcement in the slab foundation. So the reinforcement will include both parallel and perpendicular rebar that extends from the concrete slab into the structure wall. Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that in section view. So I'm going to open here section 5. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom into this area here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the crop region and then I'm going to click the crop region and then I'm going to adjust it something like this and like this. All right, let's move this one somewhere here. All right, okay, so we will be doing that in this area here. Okay, so I'm going to change first the visual style. So selects hidden line. Okay that one all right so the first thing that we will be doing is we're going to create a wall key so we're going to modify the profile of our uh, slab here okay so let's do this so to do that I'm going to select here view tab and then from the graphics panel so you can see here cut profile so what does it mean? So it says it changes the shapes or shape of elements that are cut in a view such as roofs, walls, floors, and the layers of the compound structures. Okay, this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to select this and then after that, I'm going to select here from the options bar uh, boundary between spaces or be uh, between faces. So let's click that button. And then I'm going to select this line here. So let's click that one. And you will notice you will be going to the sketch mode. So now it says here, modify, create, cut profile sketch. So what I'm going to do using the line tool, okay, so make sure chain here is checked so that we can create it continuously. So I'm going to pick somewhere here. And then I'll just approximate my... Uh, key here wall key and then i'm going to escape twice select the line i'll be using the mirror draw axis i'm gonna click the middle button or the midpoint and then pick face point and then i'm going to create again another line and then close it like this all right and then modify and then after that i'm going to select here finish edit mode all right, so that's it. So that's our wall key, All right? So that's how you add your wall key. So now the next thing that we'll be doing is so let's create a reinforcement in our slab foundation. So we are going to sketch it, okay? So how to sketch it? So to do that, so let's go to the structure tab and then from the reinforcement panel, click rebar. So I'm going to select rebar here. Okay, and then I'll be using the rebar shape 0, 0, and then the rebar number 4. Okay, right? And then after that, I'm going to make sure that the placement orientation here is set to parallel to work plane. So I'm going to select this. All right, and then I'm going to hover my pointer, and then I'm going to pick the placement of my rebar here. Click that one. And then after that, select modify. So that's it. So I just place my rebar here on this slab. Okay, so let's create another uh, rebar. Okay, so I'm going to create a vertical rebar and then I'm going to put a hook on it. All right, so we are detailing our uh, foundation here, our structural foundation and then the wall so i'm going to select rebar so let's click that one again i'll be using rebar number four and then the shape here is zero zero again the placement is parallel to work plane okay so now i'm going to select sketch option okay so where is this sketch option so you see there's a placement here 
Okay, so I'm going to select sketch here. Just hover your pointer until you see the option. So let's select here sketch. So let's pick that one. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select the floor slab, the concrete floor. So let's click that. And then you will notice you are now on the modify create rebar sketch. So this one, I'm going to select line tool. So let's click that. And then I'm just going to approximate placing my, my rebar here. So I'm going to place something like this. And then select modify. That's it. And then after that, I'll select finish edit mode. There you go. And then just select here modify to terminate the tool. So now to add a hook on our rebar. So I'm going to select the rebar. And then from the properties, let's look for hook at start. So as you can see, the option here is none. So I'm going to click that one and then there's the drop down arrow. So let's select standard one, uh, standard 90 degrees. So let's select that one. And that's it. Okay. So you can click that. And then as you can see, you can still change this one. Right, so you can resize, okay, and then you can also press a space bar. Whenever you press a space bar, as you can see, the orientation of the hook is changing, right? So now I'm going to press a space bar until such a position appears like this one. So this is the posi uh, position that I would like for that one. And then I'm going to mirror this to the other side. So I'm just going to select this rebar and then look for a mirror draw axis. Let's click that and then I'm going to click the midpoint here. So click the midpoint, first point, and then select another point here. Just a straight uh, point. Click that. There you go. And then I'll just select here modify. So that's how you sketch your rebar. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create because this one is parallel to our foundation. So we're going to create a perpendicular rebar, okay? Perpendicular on our concrete foundation here or the floor. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select the rebar again. And let me change the rebar type here. So instead of number four, uh, let's say I select your eight. Okay, and then for the placement, instead of parallel to work plane, I'm going to select perpendicular to cover. Okay, so let's click this one. Okay, and then after that, so let us pick one point here. There you go. And then I'll select here, modify. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to change the number of this rebar. So just select that one. And then after that, look for rebar set instead of single. So I'm going to select here maximum spacing. So let's click this one. So let's see. And there you go. Okay. So that's now my perpendicular rebar. Right? So you can select that and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard to move it up and down, left and right. Okay. So basically, that's how you sketch reinforcement in our slab foundation. So as you can see, the reinforcement includes both the parallel and perpendicular rebar that extend from the concrete slab into the structure wall. Okay, now if you want to see these rebars in the 3D view, because by default, I'm going to select 3D here. Okay, so I'm just going to select first this foundation and then i'm going to select selection box that's it there you go and then i click this section box go again to section 5 and then i will adjust it like this i only want to see this model here that's it and then let's go to the 3d again right now the next thing that i'm gonna do as you can see you can't easily see the three bars that we have created. If you remember from our previous uh, video, 
for you to be able to show consistently your rebar in 3D view or in other view, this is what you do. You select the rebar that you want to show in the 3D view. So you click one rebar and then hold control and then click the rebars that you would like to modify. For me, I would like to select these rebars. And then after that, look for view visibility. So select here, edit. And then this is 3D, right? So look for 3D view here. So make sure you check view unobscured. So you check that one and then select OK, right? And then after that, you go back again to 3D and then open up the visibility graphic overrides. Just type VV, Victor, Victor, VV. And then it will show you the visibility graphic override. So I want you to... Uh, select all and then tick one box to turn on the visibility and then or actually even if you don't check all of this let me just cancel this one let's go back again to section just click one of the rebar and then you can see here the category so the category is structural rebar okay now I'll go back to the 3d view and then open up the visibility graphic overrides and then move the slider down let's look for structural rebar so as you can see it's unchecked the visibility is unchecked so i'm going to tick the box to show the structural rebar okay so you just check that one and then just select okay and there you go so there's now my rebars so now it's showing so let me select section five let me click this, click this one, and then I will select this one as well. And then selection box. There you go. So there's the rebar on my floor foundation. Okay. So basically, that's how you sketch reinforcement in the slab foundation. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.